Richard Pryor is with us tonight, and he is, uh, he's a truly gifted comedian. He's a writer, he's an actor, does stand-up comedy. He's got a couple of hit albums out, the latest dealing with the newest one, dealing with the Bicentennial. And he's one of the star. That's true. What's, what's funny about that? What did I say? Oh, the I, album title. Oh, the album title. I'll let Richard tell you that. Uh, people would resent it for me. Yes, they would. What is the title? They might. They might. I know what it is. But people get uptight if I would say that. Why don't you ask Richard the title of the album when he comes out? I think I will. But the picture is called Silver Streak. Would you welcome Richard Pryor? You were funny in that picture. I saw it the other night. Oh, thank you. You were really funny in that picture. Thank One line that, that, that did it for me, and I'm not going to say the line, is when you stand up in all the confusion at the train and ask somebody something, but I'm not going to tip it because it'll mean nothing. But that lady... I haven't seen it. You haven't seen the picture at all? No, I haven't seen it yet. I was waiting until it was over, publicity over, then you could yeah. say what you really thought. Because yeah. I wonder if I don't like it, and I go see it, and people say, what did you think? Well, I didn't like it. <laughs> then they'll fire you. Yeah, somebody could. Gore Vidal was on the show one night. He's uh, involved in Caliglia, and he came on and he says, it's a real turkey. <laughs> he did? He, yeah, he's involved in the picture. See, he might get killed. Yeah. How do you know that they didn't cut out some of the stuff in the picture that you might, you might have liked? I don't care. <laughs> you got the money up front? What do you yes. care what they cut out? Yes. Take the money right to the $4. bank. Four dollars and eighty cents, cash. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just a funny picture, along with Gene Wilder and the young lady who is... Uh, Jill Clayburgh. Uh, yeah. And Scatman Carruthers. And That's right, Scat. Patrick McGowan, Ray Walston. It's a weird, strange, funny picture, a little blend of... Uh, Tony Zale, Jake LaMotta, <laughs> Ray Charles, <laughs> cast of thousands. You're just dropping... Now, you, they're going to they're gonna buy this from you. <laughs> only, only, only toward the end of the picture, yeah. but we, can't, we, can, we don't want to tip the finish. Yeah. But uh, we got a film. You want to show the film clip already? Sure. This, there's a funny scene in here where you're trying to... Uh, uh, Wilder has been thrown off the train a couple of times, if I remember. Yeah. And you're trying to get, get him, him back on the train and get in. Hide the, from the police All points, bullet like is out. They're, they're looking for him all over. So you, you come up, you're going to make him black. Yes. And you're trying to teach him the, the jive. You're trying to teach him the rhythm, how to talk, how to get, the, how to get with it. And he has a terrible time. It yes, just he he befuddles well, him completely. Is it on? Uh, not yet. <laughs> but uh, I think this is the... Part of the scene we're gonna, where you're making him up in the middle. That's a good moment. Okay. Yeah, that whole scene there, which goes on for another five, six, seven minutes, one of the funny scenes in the picture. That was a inspiration work of them. You trying to hit, get him with it. Yeah. And trying you know to what get was hard feeling. about working on the movie? Not that it's interesting, but <laughs> <laughs> it was hard because all the lines were written, you know, and there was no ad lib stuff. Because I usually, they usually, when I'm in a movie, they say, all right, Rich, this is your scene. Go! Action! You know, and it'll do that. But Arthur Hiller's the kind of director who makes you kind of stick to discipline or something that way. Wouldn't you rather work a little more free form and something and throw? Because you can always edit things, you can always cut, and sometimes, if you're skilled enough to do that, which you are, doing your own stuff. I'm serious. <laughs> then you can always come in and cut it. Did you ex <laughs> did you explain him to like that, Arthur? I'm telling you, no, you can cut with a thing. Did you explain that to Mr. Hill? No, no, I didn't explain nothing to Hill. He's too low key. You can't explain stuff to people that are low key. Arthur, I'd like to do the scene. Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the way they talk when they make movies for seven million. Nobody gets upset. Yeah. The train disappears and go, don't worry. <laughs> we'll get another train. <laughs> how would you, if you wanted to do a picture and you wanted to direct it and yourself, how would you do it? I would do it with midgets. <laughs> Tiny people, they don't eat much at lunch. That's Save right. a lot of money. It's good thinking right off. Yes. Good thinking. You gotta come out under budget also with yes. budgets. I would love to do a movie about winos. Do a, a movie called King of the Winos. You know, because it was a wino. Like, this is Christmas. I learned about Christmas from a wino named Mudbone. Mudbone? The old man, he said, You know, you weren't allowed to have Christmas in 1927. <laughs> That's right. So a little short black man out of Detroit. He used to steal toys all summer, and then in the wintertime, he'd give them away to the kids. Lived in the ghetto then, you know, and they come down the fireplace, he wasn't worried about it because he didn't have no fire. <laughs> so one time he made a mistake, dropped in a white neighborhood, burn up. <laughs> 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 
Where'd you grow up? You, you grew up back in Illinois, right? Yes, Peoria, Illinois. Peoria, Illinois. Do you yeah. ever go home? Yes, I do. I go, I'm not allowed in Peoria no more. Though. I didn't know that. No, when you make some money, don't want you in town. No more. They just say, no, keep away. We don't want to see you. Don't remind us. <laughs> Just stay away. You know what I mean? Don't you don't send no money for the junkies. Just leave us alone. <laughs> so you hear from me, not your yeah, big star. Yeah, big star. You stop shooting up, huh? <laughs> Thank you, somebody. <laughs> what kind of an upbringing did you have? Seriously, I had a wonderful upbringing. Mm -hmm. my, my parents were very strict. Uh, for where I live, you know, we lived in a neighborhood where was a lot of whorehouses, right? And all in our, in our neighborhood. But my parents were really strict and they taught me manners and things like that that have helped me in my life, for real. But I lived in really a tough neighborhood, but my parents did not allow me to be anything but wonderful. Well, that's, <laughs> you know, that's good upbringing. Because I mean, when the gangs were stealing, I couldn't show up till after the robbery. Just a, a yeah. split. If I already got caught by the police, I'd ask them to kill me. Please, don't let my dad catch me. Please, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not doing many clubs anymore, eh? Because you've been doing the films, you got the, the albums uh, yeah. are hot. Yeah, so everything's going pretty well, I guess. IRS lighting up on me, too. Hmm? You no know, one went to jail for the IRS, income tax evasion, last... You're kidding. No, they wasn't kidding either. <laughs> did you declare everything, or did you take I some deductions? I told the judge, I said, Your Honor, I forgot. <laughs> you know. He said, you remember next year. Let me ask a question. I don't mean to put you on the spot. Now, you use the term, right? Yeah. Now, does the black community get on you for using that on a show? Yes. Well, they come on and say, fire, why do you go out there and sit on the Tonight That's Show right, and say sure. that? We've been trying to overcome this for centuries, and you That's come right. out there and use it. Now, come up, Tom, and come about. Yeah. Now, sure. how do you answer it? What do you say? I don't say nothing. <laughs> I say, get out of my face. Sometimes he just takes a simple explanation like that, you know, to, to don't analyze it too deeply and just lay it out and say, go away from me. Jim Brown once told me something like, you say, quick analyzing, because I said to Jim Brown, I said, Jim, I'm afraid to fly. Jim said, me too. I said, why is that? He said, because it's in the air. <laughs> and nobody explained it to me that way. That's right. Nobody ever explained it to me that way Because it's in the air. You get hurt, get hurt, terminally hurt by falling down like that. You still don't fly or do you? No, I hate to fly, though. I get on after get Jesus on the plane with me. Well, I'd be praying, Lord, please, why did I do my mother that way when I was little? I think of all kinds of things. When really I think ever? Yeah. should have never left my first wife. I, I always like to see who's on the plane when I fly because I realize if it crashes, I want to see who's going to get top billing. Did you ever do that? Huh? If there are a lot of celebrities on there and the plane goes down, you know, I don't want to be on with Sinatra. <laughs> no. Frank Sinatra and, and Frank. others d yeah. done away with. You know, you know, you're not even going to get better. I want to be the only one going with a lot of people. Yeah. The only way to go. I like to look at the pilot and see if they made love the night before they get on the plane. I, I don't want no angry pilots that might oh. go to sleep. <laughs> so do you feel relaxed? Judy, come here. <laughs> <laughs> You got all those phobias. You got any more phobias like that? Uh, I have a phobia of dying. Phobia of dying. Great fear of dying. Yeah. You know, I worry about that a lot. I don't want to die, especially while I'm alive. Yeah. <laughs> Woody Allen had a good comment on that, which bears red. It's like nobody explained it. He says he is. He doesn't fear dying. He just doesn't want to be there when it happens. <laughs> that again. He said, oh, that's, that's simple. I, that I understand. Okay, let me do this commercial. Then we're going to come right back. Stay where you are. Right after this, one of our friends. 